Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, damsels and dingbats, to another episode of Grim Fandango. Last time we played, we found our way off the damn island at the edge of the world and made our way back to Rubacaba. Now, as we near the end of the game, we are working once more. Well, just stick around and find out as we continue on with Grim Fandango. Alright, so we need to go track down that plant dude that just ran down this hallway. Hey Gladys. Give me that. <laughs> Knock it off. Not that I can blame you. Sitting in this hallway for two episodes. Where did he go? My first instinct was just to run straight into this corridor, but apparently you can't do that. You need to actually discover, you use, need to use this uh, grinder and grind the bone. Uh, when, when the guy fell, one of his cans broke open. Apparently it's got some of the, some of the sprouting agent in it that the bullets use. Baby tears. So yeah, I discovered that I needed to find the path with the bone grinder. Okay, I think I could follow the trail this way, but I need a little light before it would let me go in. So. Hey, what's that? That must be the floor's hideout. No, not that. The thing coming at us. Crikey! Gladys has got his eyes covered. I can't reach that high. Well, how do I get up there? Oh. Okay. Says I need to turn him around and then okay. So run down here. Get him to turn around like that, and then go back up and use this remote. Where is it? Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. There we go. Use the remote like this. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, poor, poor gator. You ain't going nowhere. Glass is just sitting there with his eyes covered. If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Hector? Hector, is that you? You better back off, man! I mean it! I'm not feeling too rosy! I'm having... I feel... I'm thinking I better. Things are gonna change around here! Yeah, man! Who, who, who do you think you're fooling? <laughs> I love plants, is that so wrong? Plants are beautiful! As much as I like standing you people, here... You think plants are death? Plants are life! much as I love standing here messing with him. Suppose I should carry on for video time's sake, yeah? Alright. If people were plants, the world would be a better place. I could make everybody into plants. Hey, do you know what you just did? You just opened Pandora's But to get out of here right now. Okay. But I don't want to. I need to talk to you. Hey there, stranger. Can I help you? Okay. Uh, uh, I'm looking for something in a 9mm. Oh, well, I have a very pretty bouquet of that right here. Okay. That was easy. 
Would you like some baby's bread to go with that? Sure. All right. Here you go. You have a great day now. What is taking the bell off the the thing off the top the bell off the top of the door have to do with whether he comes out from under the desk or not? I don't get that. I need to stop doing. I, I'm over analyzing the game. Damn it! All right, Gladys, you stay here. Not like you have a choice. I'll be back. Yeah, that's right. Entertain yourself, buddy. Don't leave the engine running. You'll feed me. Get yourself. Of course, for a speed demon, that would probably be a good high. I'm gonna get up the ladder already. What the hell? Okay, I need a casino, and I gotta talk to a demon. Oh, it's that demon at the door over here. Yeah, okay. Hello? I'm here to conduct business with Hector Lamont. I just spoke with him on the phone and he's expecting me. You know Hector Lamont, eh? Hockey dokey. Then answer me this one simple question. Okay. Alright. Let's go, buddy. Huh. Okay. How many stones might an Englishman say that Hector Lamont's weighs? That was an easy one. Too bad. I win. Best two out of three. Don't mess with me. I know Hector Lamont. And actually, that was like the fifth or sixth time that I had to be asked a different question because I, I couldn't figure out. The numbers up on the board give you a clue. Celso Flores, what are you doing in Hector Lamont's waiting room? Oh, he sent us out here to make up our minds about his offer. Who are you? Hey, if you don't mind me asking. You don't recognize me in my makeup. Actually, I work for Hector. He sent me to answer your questions. Uh, I'll handle this, my sweet one. What can you tell me about these double N tickets? This price seems much more than double. How'd you get your wife back, dude? Um question is, don't you feel you're worth it? I know we're worth it, but are the tickets worth it? No. But I'm supposed to fool you into accepting it, so... Well, they cost a mint because they save you a mint. Well, I don't have a mint, so what do I care? It's a scam. The tickets are counterfeit. Take your money and run. Ho, ho, ho. Don't try any of that tricky reverse psychology on me, my friend. No, I just figured lying to you wasn't working, so exactly. honesty was a shot. What your money for? A rainy day? Because let me tell you, you're dead. Every day is rainy from now on. Yes, but there's no reason not to be careful with your money. True. Well, enough about you guys. Let me tell you about my problems. Actually, we have a lot of talking we need to do, so... Yeah, well, you can talk when I'm done. Damn it. Okay, this, this one works. This breeds about as much as vulcanized rubber. Yes, but it brings out your strong jaw. Well, thank you. I can't raise my arms in this suit. Well, let's just hope no one pulls a gun on you tonight, huh? Yeah? I just got back from the worst vacation I've ever had. Actually, I just got back from quite an adventure myself, so... Well, I'm sure you've seen flying spiders and flaming beavers, but trust me, it gets worse. You see, I've been to the edge of the world and back. I had no idea traveling the land of the dead was so fraught with peril. Now, how much would you pay just to skip the whole thing? Darling, come. Let us blow our nest egg together. I still want to know how you got your wife back. Mr. Lamans, we've decided to take you up on your generous offer. Excellent. Excellent. The little lady changed your mind, eh? No. Actually, it was your agent over there. Of course. He's one of my best. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on in. Let's chat, shall we? Ah, still got it. 
don't know who you are, and I don't know what spell you cast on the florist couple, but stick around. Once I'm done with them, there's something across town I'd like to show you. Am I talking about just a job here, or am I talking about opportunity in the general sense? We've had a lot of openings in this office in the last <laughs> few years, and frankly, we've had trouble filling them. I could really use a closer like you on the team. This is my office. Or it was my office. This is this ironic. Your office. Yeah, try this on. See how it feels. That's yours too. And as an added bonus, 2% of these, Mr. My name's Calavera, and I want a bigger cut. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Calavera, I'm going to need most of these to get myself out of this world. You see, I've been a very bad boy. <laughs> I'm going to deliver those tickets to their rightful owners, and I'm going to deliver you to the compost pile. Damn bird. Yeah, that's what you get. Fugly. Oh, great. He's gone, ain't he? Yeah, figures. Yeah, that's what you get. Sign, but the legs pointed too far down, and it looks like Hector blew the motor. Where'd it go, Hector? What's this? Is this the motor? Am I gonna like fix it or something? Hello? It's cracked, but still stronger than me. <laughs> oh, I know. I remember reading about this earlier. Okay, uh, where's that goop at? No, the goop for it. Put the bone in here. And then put the goop in that. Can I just use the gun? I'm saving my ammo for the big guy. Okay, um. There it is. Bowsley was right. This is the good stuff. Pour that in there. And should. Voila! Huh! <laughs> well, it was gonna happen eventually. Innuendo much? Okay, so... Woo! That one must be yours. Oh, shit. Don't forget to send for help. Didn't I plaster you already? How many birds does frickin' Hector have, man? Ugh, taken out by a suitcase. Viva la, get me out of here! We were supposed to have coverage back there. Where are all of Salvador's men? I don't know. He hasn't told me yet. What? Plot twist. Hola, Manuel. Time for you to swing, daddy -o. Let's see you walk. You two-faced word I can't use. These flowers? All people Hector has sprouted? Hey, when you're on top like my boyfriend Hector is, you make a lot of enemies. 
Okay, so... I guess I'm supposed to go to the greenhouse then? My god, how far away is it? Okay. She loves me. She loves me not. Well, you're half right. Oh, Manny, so cynical. What happened to you, Manny, that caused you to lose your sense of hope, your love of life? I died. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I guess Domino is right. You don't have a shred of optimism. Well, when it comes to shreds, Dom is the expert. And by that same logic, Manny, you're about to become an expert in botany. Is this where you tell me all about your secret plan, Hector? How you stole double end tickets from innocent souls, pretended to sell them, but really hoarded them all for yourself in a desperate attempt to get out of the land of the dead? No. You bastard! <laughs> this is where you writhe around in excruciating pain for about an hour because that idiot bowels they ran off with all their fast acting sprout here now. Then slow stuff will sprout you. But it's going to take a long time, I'm sorry to say. Well, this isn't the ending I saw coming. Manny, where are you going? You've got some time. Before you have to leave. Oh, he's a stand up comedian. Okay. So, this next part, I ended up laying here for a good 10 minutes. Not able to do anything. But eventually, you know, I went through all my entire inventory trying to use everything before I did this. Because, like I said, I'm not a smart person. Oh. Gracias, Toto Santos. And uh, the only other option after running around and exploring for a while was to head Come back to the car. On, so. It for me, baby. One of you must be mine. nothing in the car to use so I had no choice but just to talk to Hector Salvador or Salvador wait, wait. excuse Listen me carefully. there's a gun in the trunk of this car but the trunk key is with my body somewhere in the meadow behind the greenhouse find it right and tell Eva that I know she will guide the Alliance wisely when I am gone but when I bite this explosive tooth the deadly cloud will sprout not just my target but me as well your target what are you hey get out of there farewell my friend what were you talking about with the head of the LSA in there? Huh, Sal? Got something you want to share with the class? Only these. Viva la revolución! Now see, this part I don't understand either. This is me overthinking again. I have to go find his body behind the greenhouse to get the keys to get in the trunk to get a gun hey my sights and well, this what do you know ticket Sal is had a ticket all along what's used to find his body behind the greenhouse doesn't seem to be one for me now, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do you just have to sl go slow and take your time and it was rather frustrating but I did do it my question is it's amazing how Salvador's ticket is still drawn to him did she not just run off with a gun in her hand? And she's sprouting, right? So why couldn't I have just followed her until she stopped running around and took her gun? I don't know. But like I said, this part here was a little frustrating. You're supposed to follow the ticket. Um, you use it and it flops when you're heading in the right direction. And it stops when you're not kind of like a, you're getting warmer, you're getting colder type scenario. Um, as you can see, just by the little bit that I left in, that that it's not the easiest thing to do. Uh, everything looks the same. Eventually, however, 
Um, I, I did manage to find his damn body, so... We'll get there in a moment. Seems to be attracted to something over this way. He's not doing anything now. There we go. The emotional cutscene. Now, one part I did leave out be the key to Salvador's trunk. via the editing was uh, I went over and I explored that structure or down to the left there with the light on it. And uh, it, it's a water tower that runs water up to the greenhouse. And uh, you make the comment. Yeah, you heard me. You make the comment that it's odd that he's still watering the plants. But, um. I end up here going back to the greenhouse, and I, and I can't get too close to it. He keeps making this comment about I, I'm not going any closer until he runs out of ammo. And I couldn't figure out what to do, so I ended up one last time having to check the walkthrough, and it told me I needed to go back down to the, uh, the water house down there. And eventually, I figured out what I was supposed to do, but like I said, once again my brain did not immediately jump to the this is the solution you know I'm not getting any closer until he runs out of ammo if he runs out of ammo that is so this is the point where I've checked the walkthrough and I'm like okay well I guess what am I supposed to do not thirsty and I was like Oh, and then it dawned on me. Okay, well that makes sense, I guess. Huh? And now we don't got to worry about his running out of ammo anymore. Yes, it does. It sounds like a music to my ears. Or my ear holes. gave me one on the other end. Sort of every time at present. And, uh, demons right free, right? Aw, oh, man, you know I can't go with you. I'm a spirit of the land and all that. I can't ever leave this world. I guess I got so wrapped up in saving people, I just assumed I'd be able to save you too. Yeah, but I don't need to be saved. I like it here. I'm not all alone in that basement anymore, thanks to you. I got a new job and all these new friends. I'm a big demon success story. So, I guess this is it then. Come here, come here. No. Just about to win and he crushes me to death. <laughs> oh, Gladys. Money 
Yeah? When we get to the next world... What is it, Angel? Are we going to be together? You know, sweetheart, if there's one thing I've learned, it's this. Nobody knows what's gonna happen at the end of the line. We might as well enjoy the trip. Wow, wow. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of Grim Fandango. Thank you for taking the journey with us. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, I've been your host, DM Renevion, saying stay safe and have fun. I'm out.